Hello my TikTokers, my Tubies, my Instagrammers. This is the reason why it's so important for you to be careful about the things that you post on social media. I'm careful posting saying, everything on I social was media. With you, and clearly you were vibing with me. We have so many things in common. We were going on so many dates. I really thought you liked me. We don't we don't have anything in common. I, I get it, I get it. When, when me and you went out, well, we were chilling. It was a very nice day. Um, you, you were funny. I, you were funny. I can tell you that. Uh, <laughs> but everything that we, you think we had in common, I basically just read your social media. Like, you post everything on social I mean, like, I'm not saying you shouldn't post anything. I'm not saying it one bit, but you post everything. Like, as soon as I went to your page, I knew where you worked at, how long you been there, what school you graduated from. I knew what you liked to do, what you didn't like to do. I learned that uh, you have any kids you had, how many kids you, you wanted. I mean, I, it was so much on your social media. Uh, you're a Presbyterian. You work out five days a week. So guess what? When I talk to you, guess what I do now? I'm a Presbyterian. I work out five days a week. I didn't have to do anything. It was no mystery into getting to know you because you let the whole world know who you are. So you found me attractive and I just used it against you. I mean, I didn't use it against you. I used it to my benefit. Since I'm not mad enough to be honest. <laughs> so I can't post what I want on social media because you'll just want to have sex with me. Oh, that's not true. That's not, I didn't say that. But what, you, what, what women have to understand, men want to have sex with you regardless. Other men wants more than just sex, but you have a lot of guys who just want to have sex until they find the right person. With that being said, if you want somebody to get to know you, give them give them that chance to get to know you. By you posting everything on social media, you're not giving anybody a chance to get to know you. You're not making nobody work for you besides just taking you on dates and they can just repeat everything you really post on social media. Because some reason you have to play all the little social media games. Oh, ladies or fellas, say what you like, what you don't like. Y'all have to do this. So basically, you guys basically hurt yourselves because you give everybody ammunition to shoot you. So I took my shot. I'm careful. Now, I know a lot of people might think that that's a cruel thing to do is to, when someone's being open and honest with you, for you to take advantage of that. But I'm glad that he uh is letting this woman, you know, he's 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 giving her letting he's giving her what what the game is out here. So actually what he's doing what what he's saying to her is trying to help women to understand, you know, take your time when it comes to getting to know someone. And I, I've never understood why people would post all of their business. Like when I go out you don't see me with pictures everywhere I go. I mean, I may take some, you might see maybe what, three pictures of me at a place where I do whatever. I go out a lot more than what people see because I don't put my whole life on um, social media. You know, it's not good to post too much about your relationships either because that helps people to plot and scheme against you. And, 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 and one thing I do is if you don't want to play table topics, I always insist on playing table topics with my dates because I've gone on several dates, even doing FaceTime because I want to hear how a person feels about many different areas, many topics. That's why I always, always, I have a little miniature card game that I keep in my bag and it's uh, table topics. Let me see. Let me see if I can show it to you right here. Well, I have lots of Bible trivia because I love, love, love that. But, uh, yeah, I, I think I have it in my purse. I don't want to get up right now. And as you know, I have COVID. That's why I'm using my picture right now, opposed to just speaking live. But at least you get to see my face. This is for educational purposes. And I'm giving you my commentary. So... I really appreciated what he shared with us. And this is our Jeremy L. Holloway. I always love Jeremy because he has so many great um, um, videos, clips, and it's educational. He doesn't lean more towards women's side of the situation. 
and he doesn't lean more towards men. He's just fair all the way around. But I, what I would recommend for women when you're going out on dates, always make sure that they're willing to play table topics because now they're going to have to express themselves. You're going to get to see how articulate they are, how fluent they speak, and, and are they communicators, you know? And like he said, it's so easy for people to say, oh, I like to do that too. Oh, yeah, I do that same thing. It's amazing how we have so much in common. And they're just, they're just uh, regurgitating what they saw on your channel. So be careful with that. But one thing they can't regurgitate is table topics. Hold on a moment. Let me let me get a, a, a brief. I can't believe I don't have, I have like four or five packets. Hold on. I have one that I keep on my table in the kitchen. So when you have people over for dinner, you sit and talk about regular things. And then when it gets a little quiet, each person pulls out a card and you have table topics. It could be about politics. It could be about animals. It could be about every different thing. And then you get a feel of what this person is really like. Hold on. Okay, I got the one that I keep on my uh, table. I keep a set in my kitchen and I keep a set in my living room. That's where you socialize. So I, one of the questions is, would you stop eating all junk food to live five years longer? And then I get to see where their head is at on that. If you could work as an assistant to anyone for one whole year, who would you choose? Okay, what is another one? What would you love to find at a yard sale? You see how it helps you to get it? I always ask people, what is their favorite movie? I always want to know your favorite movie. I want to know what type of books. Who is your favorite author? <coughs> what is your favorite movie? And what kind of music do you vibe with? What music actually helps to renew your mind and change your heart and see things differently? Because that tells me everything I need to know. I also believe in um, astral psychology, and that's a long story. I, I made videos on that already. Yeah, that, that just sums it up because I don't like wasting my time. I don't like playing games, and, and I don't have time for it. In which activity would you like a lesson from an expert? Things like that. Would you rather visit a big city or the countryside? You see how it helps you to get into what a person is into and what they're really not. And I look at their face. I, I always look at their eyes. Always look at the eyes. It's the, win the, the windows to the soul. And I know how I'm excellent with body language. Excellent. Because I've worked with lawyers for over what? 30, 35 years? And that's what they majorly look at is body language. You know, and eye movement. I'm an expert with that too. That's why I don't waste my time. But just like Jeremy here said... And I'm going to play it for you again, just to put emphasis on it. And I also want you to keep in mind, you will always know when God and Jesus brought someone into your life because they're going to be trying to help you draw closer to God and Christ, number one. They're going to respect your boundaries. They're not going to try to deter you from your standards and your boundaries. And they're not going to try to encourage you to sin, and that's how you could tell the difference of when God brought someone into your life and when Satan the devil is setting you up. So anyway, let's listen to Jeremy again in closing. I love how you can literally make it seem... People posting everything on I social vibing media. With you and clearly you were vibing with me. We have so many things in common. We were going on so many dates. I really thought you liked me. We don't, we don't have anything in common. I, I get it. I get it. When me and you went out, well, we were chilling. It was, it was a very nice day. Um, you, you were funny. I, you were funny. I can tell you that. Uh, <laughs> but everything that we, you think we had in common, I basically just read your social media. Like you post everything on social. I mean, like I'm not saying you shouldn't post anything. I'm not saying that one bit, but you post everything. Like. As soon as I went to your page, I knew where you worked at, how long you been there, what school you graduated from. I knew what you liked to do, what you didn't like to do. I learned that uh, you have any kids you have, how many kids you, you wanted. I mean, I, it was so much on your social media. Uh, you're a Presbyterian. You work out five days a week. So guess what? When I talk to you, guess what I do now? I'm a Presbyterian. 
I work out five days a week. I didn't have to do anything. It was no mystery into getting to know you because you let the whole world know who you are. So you found me attractive and I just used it against you. I mean, I didn't use it against you. I didn't use it to my benefit. Since I'm not mad enough, to be honest. <laughs> so I can't post what I want on social media because you'll just want to have sex with me. Oh, that's not true. That's not how I didn't say that. Right? What, you, what, what women have to understand, men want to have sex with you regardless. Other men want more than just sex, but you have a lot of guys who just want to have sex until they find a right person. With that being said, he wants somebody to get to know you. Give them, give them that chance to get to know you. By you posting everything on social media, you're not giving anybody a chance to get to know you. You're not making nobody work for you besides just taking you on dates and they can just repeat everything you really post on social media. Because some reason you have to play all the little social media games. Oh, ladies or fellas, say what you like, what you don't like. Y'all have to do this. So basically, you guys basically hurt yourselves because you give everybody ammunition to shoot you. So I took my shot. So like Jeremy said, stop giving people ammunition to shoot you down, to set you up. And don't forget table topics ask them their favorite book their favorite movie what type of music do they vibe with and that's it for now darlings